Are you a subject matter expert who struggles to speak with confidence? Are you losing career opportunities and feeling stuck because of your stage fear and nervousness during presentations? Isn't that affecting your happiness and your family's future? Welcome to the Confident Man Show with Mr. Bashal Sarkar, India's celebrity expert in practical public speaking, where he shows you how to speak with confidence, deliver rock-solid confident presentations in front of decision makers without any stage fear. Would you like to become the confident man, gain more respect, and enjoy a happy life? Then listen carefully, because this is showtime. For knowing more about the upcoming practical public speaking courses and opportunities to get mentored by Mr. Bishal himself, go to bishalsarkar.com. Again, you can go to bishalsarkar.com for more information about having a conversation with our team members about your situation. Show starts now. Three, two, one, let's go. So, 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 so. Are you really confident or are you arrogant? Hey, welcome to the Confident Man Show. I'm your mentor, Bishal Sarkar, author of the book, I Love Public Speaking, creator of the Balanced Life Mastermind and the founder of the Confident Speaker Conference. It's our event where I show you how to become a totally confident speaker so that you can reach the highest level in your career by becoming a strong leader so that you can enjoy more time freedom with your family while having greater level of social respect so ultimately you can live with happiness for the rest of your life without stress, without struggle and without sacrifice. And today we are talking about confidence versus arrogance. But before we talk about that, I want to remind you of the great opportunity that we have today. See, we are living in a world right now where you can absolutely be anything, do anything and achieve anything if you have the right people around you, if you have the right mindset, and if you take the right strategies and take actions on them. Because right now, the opportunity is with you. You can absolutely make more impact. You can create more income for yourself, no matter whether you are an IT professional, whether you are a project manager, whether you're a leader, whether you're a business owner, or maybe you're a technical expert, okay? You have an opportunity to grow your influence, your impact, and your income, and it starts with you growing your confidence because marketplace rewards confidence. However, we have a problem as well. The problem that I see is even though a lot of experts today have a lot of years of experience, a lot of knowledge, a lot of uh, academics. They have spent years and years develop, developing their craft. However, they're not able to communicate that to the marketplace. So it's like they have the knowledge, they have the experience, but because of the lack of communication, because of the lack of powerful speaking skills, they are not able to create that impact. They are not able to get that promotion. And they are not able to go to the next level in their career because of which they are not happy, right? By the way, I'm having my black tea with honey and tulsi. Highly recommended if you want to take care of your voice. And if you, more than the voice, I just love the black tea and coffee, uh, black tea and tulsi. Um, the reason I said coffee is because there was a time in my life I used to love coffee. Sometimes I enjoy coffee now, but I'm more of a black tea with tulsi and honey person right now because I love it. So if you want to overcome your challenges and, and definitely become a confident speaker, listen to this show. Because one of the people that I'm reminded of is Ryan. Um, Ryan Limos is from Bangalore. He's, uh, he's been working for last um, almost 25, 20, 25 years or more than that, actually, um, in his career. And now recently he took a plunge and he started his own business in the healthcare industry. Um, he, brilliant, brilliant guy. And in fact, when I first met Ryan at the Confident Speaker Conference, he came to the event a couple of months ago. He really was, um, he, he was struggling with communication. He was, you know, a fantastic man, very honest individual, very hardworking uh, professional, um, but his communication was holding him back. When he came to our, us, you know, we, we really amped up his communication uh, with his, in his own credit, you know, credit goes to the man in the arena, right? As, as uh, you hear in the book, The Fountainhead, um, Ryan completely transformed his speaking skills and he's absolutely, see, nobody's perfect, he's const constantly growing and that's the reason he joined 
um, the Balance Life Mastermind, which is my 12-month mentorship program, which is not for everybody, but I extended that uh, invitation to him because he decided to apply and learn from me in the long term uh, by having access to me, my advice, and by having access to my group, uh, the people in the mastermind who are really winning, uh, creating massive, massive, massive amount of progress in their career. And that's what inspires me. You know, when I see people like Ryan, it inspires me to know that people, um, no matter what their age, they want to grow. And Ryan is a young guy. I mean, when I say young, he's like probably in the in the 47, 48 year old uh, age bracket, but he's he's like a macho kind of person, like muscular. He's you know he loves fitness, he loves reading books, and he really loves his family. And now he wants to grow and scale his business to an amazingly powerful level, and he want to imp- he wants to impact people. In fact, recently we were having a call in the mastermind last uh, last Saturday, and uh, with all the members, and Ryan had a question. Ryan had a question like, "Hey, Bishal, when I meet somebody like a." like a big time you know healthcare professional like a owner of a hospital or a big time doctor that I can associate with how do I talk about it and how do I you know how do I create like a bonding and in fact we talk about a strategy something that 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 I call an AVQ uh, which is audio visual cue how to do that in a certain way where you can actually ask people a specific one sentence question showing a specific body language with which anybody will actually give you their number instantly Okay. Now, I'm not sure if that trick is going to work on Deepika Padukone, <laughs> but it works with professionals. So if you want to grow your network, it's very, very important. I'm so proud of Ryan. So today, we are talking about confidence versus arrogance. And before I give you the tips and the, the differences and how you can identify for yourself which one you're doing, whether you are in the confidence zone or the arrogance zone, I want to, for a second, for a second, I want to talk about the value of arrogance, that's right, the value of arrogance for a second. Because we live in a society right now, especially in our culture in India, arrogance and ego are seen as something very, very bad all the time. Like they are, arrogance is bad, arrogance is bad, be humble, be humble. And, and that I think has a place and I think humility is amazing. However, you got to understand that many times underconfident people see confident people as arrogant. Okay, I'm going to repeat what I said right now, okay? Underconfident people see confident people as arrogant. It's like, I'm fearful about so-and-so, but you're doing it confidently. You must be arrogant because you're doing what I can't do, so you're arrogant. Right? That's one attitude many people have. So many times that arrogance is misunderstood completely. Second thing I want to talk about is... Um, you know, I, I remember many times in my life as a man, I have been upset by somebody's behavior. Maybe it's a conflict at home. Maybe somebody in office said something bad or maybe a friend bitched about me and complained and, and you know, was doing bitching about me. And, and I, that can make me upset, right? I, as a human being, just like you, I have a right to be upset. Many times when you are upset, people will say, well, what's wrong with you? Why are you angry? See, they give you that angry tag, quote, unquote. I'm giving a air quote, unquote, right now. Angry tag. When you are actually upset, you're, you're upset inside. And they think, and you might think at the time, I'm upset. Why are you calling me angry? Because in your behavior, they give you that tag because of their predisposed information and their judgment. They call you angry. You don't feel good about it at that time. Same way, many times, you are probably standing up for something right in the office you say guys i love you guys but listen this is what we should do many times some people will say that is an arrogant statement that he made right so i want you to be aware of the fact that many times arrogance is just a perception Uh, many times for example people call me arrogant and i'm completely fine with that it's totally their perception totally their judgment they are right to judge me just like i have a right not to be bothered by it uh, see, now what I just now said can be called arrogance by many people. Oh, he does not care about people's opinion huh, about him. Whatever. Listen, I love people. I care for people. I just am not bothered about their opinion about me. I have better things to do. I have 100 crore people to impact. I have books to write. I have conferences to do. I have workshops. I have so many coaching clients. I have my family more than more important than anything else. I have my family to take care of. I have to take, to take care of myself. If I'm always bothered about people's opinion, it's not going to be a good thing for me to live an impactful life. Same with you. So make sure that you understand this fact. And the final thing I want to talk about before telling the distinctions um, is 
healthy arrogance versus unhealthy arrogance. What do you mean, Vishal? Well, here's what I mean. Let me drink some tea first of all. Healthy arrogance is absolutely important of a great personality. Um, otherwise, people will always take advantage of you. So I'll give an example. Let's say I am um, I'm busy and somebody comes and says, hey, Vishal, can you do this for me? Maybe I can, but I don't have the time because I'm busy with so many other things, right? In general, for example, um, I have, like I said, I, I have speaking conferences, my schedule book booked up with a lot of coaching calls, a lot of uh, consulting opportunities that people come to me for consulting big, big companies to grow their businesses, to get my ideas uh, in a confidential manner. Sometimes individuals come to me to solve their life's problems and And these are my client circle. So maybe I'm having a very long day and I'm having like a bam, bam, bam schedule with my family and I maybe have a birthday invitation to attend. And maybe somebody wants to talk to me at that time, right, randomly. Now, I have the right to say no. That's healthy arrogance because, because I know my purpose. I know my priorities. So very lovingly, I can say, hey, that's great. I appreciate you want to do that. But right now, I can't do this because of this. See, that's healthy arrogance. Unhealthy arrogance is no matter, no, I I won't do it for anybody. See, that is unhealthy arrogance. So you want to have healthy arrogance. You want to value yourself. And if some people call it arrogance, so be it. So right now, what we are about to talk about the difference between confidence and arrogance, we're actually going to be talking about difference between confidence and unhealthy arrogance. Okay, so healthy arrogance is always, always good because you want to have that for yourself to make sure that you value yourself. I love humility. But listen, we Weakness does not mean humility. And strength does not mean arrogance. Many times people think if you are just weak, you're humble. Not true. Anyways, listen to that, what I just now said for the last 20 seconds. Listen to it many times. You're going to love, love it. Five differences. Number one, confident people focus on other people. Arrogant people only focus on themselves. So when you are a confident speaker, this is something we teach in the Confident Speaker Conference. You want to have an audience-centric mindset. Audience-centric mindset. So whether you're talking to somebody on a phone call or a video call or face-to-face or a presentation or at a party, you want to be aware of yourself, but you don't want to be too conscious about yourself. So you want to understand the other person's world. See, that, that builds connection. That is confidence. But unhealthy, arrogant people, they just focus on me, 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 me. Where is my food? Where is my bottle? That is not right. So that's the first difference between confidence and unhealthy arrogance, okay? Number two, confident people have gratitude while arrogant people have entitlement. Confident people are constantly grateful people. These are people who, when they receive something in the mind, they are grateful. They appreciate things like they go for a good coffee. They say, thank you for the great coffee. Or when they go for, when they, when they receive like a upgrade on an airplane, they say, thank you so much. Versus unhealthy, arrogant people, they are like always not very happy. Where is my upgrade? Where is my coffee? Right? They, they, they feel that everything should come to them in the perfect manner. They don't value this other people. So that's unhealthy confidence. So I'll give you an example. A uh, couple of uh, months ago, I was traveling. I was in Bangalore airport and I took my boarding pass. I said, thank you to the lady. And in fact, I said, thank you, Anjali, because I can, I could hear her name. Uh, I could see her name on the name badge. I always take a point to really um, address people by their name. Instead of saying, thank you, I can say, thank you, Anjali. Thank you, Rohan. Thank you, Rahul. Thank you, Rohit. Thank you, Ranjana, thank you, Anjana. <laughs> okay, so I, I said thank you and I was going and then I saw the person behind me was really shouting at the people like, how could you not give me the boarding pass? I'm only half an hour late. They're like, sir, you have to be at the airport at least two hours before um, or at least one hour before. You're like half an hour away. It's it's already on boarding pass. You can't go, go there. No, no, give me right now. And they didn't give because, see, this guy is an arrogant person. I understand that, you know, it, it can be really embarrassing and frustrating when you miss a flight. But in, instead of acting with that entitlement, if he very powerfully with the confidence and, you know, there are ways to do that with the right proper body language and tonality and specific words, he could actually get into that flight. Um, there are ways to do that. Anyways, um, so gratitude versus entitlement. A quick little story. I can't tell you the entire thing. <laughs> But I actually have uh, one time been stopped uh, in the airport uh, and I was not allowed to board because I had chicken pox at that time. 
Long story short, can't tell you the techniques here. Um, about half an hour later, they actually let me get on the flight. Exact same flight that I was supposed to get on. They let me that. Now, how did I do this? There are ways. By the way, just so you know, if you have chicken pox, people don't let you get on that flight. And it's not, mad. it's not actually right, but I had to go somewhere to my home to be taken care of by other people. So uh, there are things I did. No contact, no phone call, just a few conversation with the right people, with the right tonality, the right body language, no request, no showing people that I'm this big guy. There are ways to do that. We'll talk about it some other time. So practice gratitude, not entitlement. Third difference is confident people say, I can improve while unhealthy, arrogant people say, I know everything. Now, I'm sure you've met, met some people like this, right? I'm constantly um, wowed by so many great people who come to the Confident Speaker Conference. This is for subject matter experts. So generally, we have people from outside India, you know, people from Australia, people from Saudi, people from Qatar, people from Sri Lanka, people from UK, people from US. And of course, our loving India, people from Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, Bihar, uh, Mumbai, Delhi, <coughs> um, all the time, like Pune, Mangalore, and Punjab, Ludhiana. I mean, so many, so many people come to this event, um, and many times they have uh, 25, 30, 35 years of work experience. But see, confident, these are people who still want to grow. They still want to invest in themselves. Uh, many times my friends tell me, Bishal, you know, you, you already make this much money and you're doing good in your life. You have the time freedom. Why do you still invest in mentors and coaches? And I always say, because I can always improve more. Um, I want to learn. I want to grow. I want to apply. I want a better life. Um, not from a place of need, but from a place of appreciation. You know, I want to I wanna improve so I can be a better mentor for my clients, Right. However, um, I've seen that many people, even if they have 5, 10, 20, 25 years of experience, that becomes their, like, oh, I, I just, I know everything already. Oh, what will, you, what will you teach me about leadership? I'm working for 25 years, no? What will you teach me about relationship? I've been married five times, no? <laughs> that was a good example, Vishal. Thank you. All right, fourth, uh, fourth difference is progress versus ego. Um, confident people always focus on progress. Um, when unhealthy, conf unhealthy, arrogant people um, always focus on ego because they have a big ego. They are not um, open to feedback while confident people are always looking for feedback. You know, they are looking for ways to improve their communication. They are looking for ways to improve their relationship, their health, their speaking skills, their leadership, their managerial skills, their life, their way of thinking, their way of writing, their way of reading. Um, so progress is something that is important. In fact, I, I learned it from Tony Robbins that... A man that is not making progress is an unhappy man. That's right. So if you want to be happy, you want to make progress. And I'm sure Tony Robbins also meant not just men, but, but women in general. Uh, got to be careful these days with men and women. You know, got to talk about both. Uh, but I love that. Um, so progress versus ego. And fifth uh, difference between confident people and unhealthy, arrogant people. One of my favorites. Confident people are willing to accept mistakes but an arrogant person is always right. <laughs> we all make mistakes. I make mistakes. I've made so many mistakes in my career. I've made mistakes. I've had failures. I've made mistakes in my relationships. Um, sometimes I am rude. Sometimes I lose control. Sometimes I um, go a little off track. Sometimes I get overwhelmed a bit. But when I make a mistake, many times, I can't say most times because I'm sure there are times I'm not perfect. Many times I, I accept my mistakes. Like, you know what? You're right. You're right, mom. You're right. I, I should have behaved better with, with that person, that relative. You're right. Thank you. Or I'm right, Akash. Thank you for telling me that we could do this uh, event in a, um, you know, we could start earlier. So I accept my mistake, Akash. Things like that. If you're willing to accept mistakes, you know, that shows that you are open to feedback. That, that shows that you are open to making improvement. But an arrogant person, man, even if he makes mistake, no, he'll say, no, I'm right. You show him all the logic in the world, all the logic why his one this particular behavior is wrong. So you don't want to make him wrong. Maybe all you want to do is just want him to realize his mistake. He'll say, no, 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 no. No, I am right. No, I don't know anything. You can tell me any. I'm right. Right. That's an un unhealthy arrogance. <laughs> awesome. All right. Uh, let's go through the list again. Uh, so number one, for, um, confident people focus on others while arrogant people focus on just themselves. 
you want to focus on yourself but not just on yourself you want to also focus on the other person number 2 confident people have gratitude while arrogant people have entitlement number 3 confident people say i can improve when arrogant people say i know everything confident number 4 confident people focus on progress while arrogant people focus on ego and number 5 confident people are willing to accept their mistakes when they make mistakes while arrogant people say i'm always right these are the five differences between confident people and arrogant people and today you just listen to the confident man show and if you want to take it to the next level i encourage you to reach out in fact you can attend the confident speaker conference if you are a right fit because this is not for everybody we do this event right here in bangalore the next event is coming up just in the next few weeks so seats are pretty full if you want to get in right now you can do this you can come to the confident speaker conference we do this event generally twice a year right now because i'm focused on a lot of one on one and individual coaching which is very high level high tech and uh, profitable business model for me uh, but you can come to the confident speaker conference you can get in touch with uh, rahul and uh, you can find his number below this video somewhere or at the end you know how to do this you know how to find if you want something you find a way if you don't want something you'll find an excuse so get in there come to the confident speaker conference so i can show you how to become a confident speaker so that you can reach the highest level in your career ha 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 by becoming a strong leader so that you can enjoy the time freedom with your family while having greater level of social respect so that you can live with happiness for the rest of your life without stress struggle and sacrifice and i want you also to know that um in 2019 and 2020 uh, we are actually opening a few more coaching spots for me it's i uh, got to tell you it's very expensive to work with me one on one uh but if you want to be there we happily take that right now fee starts at 95 lakhs rupees that's the one on one coaching not the conference the conference is much less but if you want to come to the one on one coaching it's a 3 month agreement starts at 95 lakhs rupees goes even up if you want more support from me but if you want to do that send me a direct email uh subject line should be coaching and you can send that to In fact you can send that to anupama anupamaatbishalsarkar.com for coaching requests for conference opportunities where you can attend the practical workshop where i can show you how to be a confident speaker you can get in touch with rahul the number is going to be at the end i hope you had a great time i want you to have a great time why because this is a great life and i want you to have a confident life my name is vishal sarkar always reminding you that confidence is not about perfection it's all about connection. Congratulations for listening to today's show. If you're ready to become the confident man in your own life, go to bishalsarkar.com and apply for a conversation today. For that, go to bishalsarkar.com. All right, time for me to go. Have a confident day. Hi, I'm Deepa. I'm working as senior manager at ANZ. I think I've seen a better version of me with great confidence and I would say that I have seen a complete transformation. I've completely got rid of the stage fear and I'm able to connect with audience with greater perfection. Yeah, I was not able to connect with audience, right? I used to get give a presentation with natural flow, but I hardly could connect with audience. I would say that I was nervous and I was losing points when when actually giving the presentation. And I would say that it was an average presentation or average uh, uh, talk I used to give. But now I would see say my quality of talks have really increased because I could really connect with audience. practical in nature and it's not about just presentation right it's about complete transformation of you and really giving the basics of what it really means to become a confident speaker and it's all about connection it's a wonderful course i think if you're not joining you're missing something in your life yeah so not only vishal sir car everyone in the team is equally talented and everyone has put an additional effort uh, uh, trying to add value and really added value to every single participant i would say the course is very practical and not really boring as a usual uh, public speaking course or usual confident uh, building course it was really practical and we felt involved throughout the course and really seeing a transformation day by day i would say that 
What I have not achieved for years together, I have just achieved in just three days.